everyone, I'm Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Today's class is a deep release for the low body. So if you're looking to gain flexibility or release tension that you're holding on to, this is the perfect class for you. If you have not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in joining me on a yoga retreat, check out my website for further information. If you have props, um, props will be a great addition to this class. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, blocks, a strap, maybe a bolster, a pillow or books can be a substitute. This can just help get deeper into postures or support us in postures where we feel some discomfort. So we're gonna start today in a child's pose. So come toward the back of your mat, bring your knees wide and bring your toes to touch. As you bring your hips toward your heels, walk your hands toward the front of your mat. Spread your fingers wide, press firmly down through the palms of your hands, and then start to release your forehead down toward your mat. Close your eyes. Breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Close your lips, begin to breathe in and out through your nose. Gently constrict the back of your throat, making your breath audible. As you settle into this posture, notice the stretch in your hips and your low back. As you continue to extend your arms forward and reach through your fingertips, feel the stretch in your shoulders as your arms release down toward your mat. Release any tension you're holding onto in your neck. You can wobble your head gently side to side, massaging your forehead, releasing any tension you're holding onto in your face. Continue to hold this position in your lower body and keep your right arm extended out in front of you and begin to slide your left arm underneath your right. Come onto your left shoulder and place your left ear on your mat so you're looking toward your left fingertips. And switch sides, extend your left arm long on your mat. Slide your right arm underneath your left. Come onto your right shoulder. Look toward your right fingertips. Extend your right arm long out in front of you. Press back one more time. That was a nice long hold. Let's release our child's pose by coming into a high cobra. So start to make your way forward as you press open, lift through the crown of your head, feel the opening in your hip flexors, which were just compressed. You can keep a soft bend in your elbows, working in the direction of straight arms to get a back bend here. Begin to tuck all 10 toes under Press up and back for downward facing dog. So lift your knees up off the floor. Begin to reach your hips up toward the ceiling as you release your heels down toward your mat. 
In downward facing dog, begin to pedal your legs, bending and straightening one leg at a time. And take one more breath here. Press both heels down toward your mat. Find a static downward facing dog for one breath. Look toward your hands, walk your feet toward the front of your mat, bend your legs a lot for ragdoll. Rest your torso on your thighs. Take opposite hand to opposite elbow. Let your head dangle and start to sway side to side. Again, bending and straightening one leg at a time. Release your hands down toward your mat. And again, you can have blocks here if you'd like for added support. Come up to a halfway lift. So begin to straighten your legs, flatten your back, reach through the crown of your head. Take another breath in here. And now with straight legs, come into standing forward fold. If you have tight hamstrings, again, this is a great place to support yourself with your blocks. On your next breath in, halfway lift again. So lengthen your spine, flat back, reach through the crown of your head and forward fold. I'm gonna take another variation on our forward fold here. So go ahead and slide your hands underneath your feet. This is called gorilla pose. So you're gonna stand on the palms of your hands. Your toes are gonna come toward your wrist creases. And then you're gonna begin to Take your elbows off to either side as you draw the crown of your head closer to the floor. Release your hands. Take a big breath in, come up to a halfway lift again. Exhale to fold. Now, bring your hands behind your heels. And go ahead and cup your heels with your hands. So again, you're standing on your hands. Bend your legs a lot. Continue to keep your torso glued to your thighs and begin to straighten your legs. Even if they just straighten a tiny little bit, we're working in that direction, keeping elbows in, firm grip on the heels. and release your hands out from underneath your heels. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Our last forward fold for now. So keep your right foot right where it is and step your left foot way back to low lunge position. From low lunge, begin to straighten your right leg for extended pyramid pose. As you hold this pose, either with your hands on the floor or your hands up on blocks, begin to move your leg in the direction of straight as you fold over your leg. Last breath here. Now return to low lunge and place your back knee on the floor. Take the top of your foot flat to the floor and reach your arms up overhead. We're gonna take a side bend in each direction. So you can have your block on your right side, place your hand on your block as you reach your left arm up and across. 
If you don't have a block, you can place your hand on the floor. Try to keep your left shoulder in line with your left hip. And release and switch sides. So now you're gonna place your left hand on the floor or a block. Reach your right arm up and across. Okay, reach both arms up. Hold here for another breath. Really working deeply into that left hip flexor, your left quadricep. Now release your hands down onto your mat. Tuck your back toes under. Lift your knee up off the floor and step back to downward facing dog. Pedal it out in downward facing dog. Just take a, a notice of the difference between one side and the other after holding all those postures on the right side. Okay, from here, lift your right leg up behind you, open your hip and bend your leg. Take a circle of your foot in one direction and switch directions. Level your hip, so right hip in line with left, straighten your leg and release your foot back down to the floor for downward facing dog. Now switch sides, lift your left leg up, open your hip and bend your leg. Take a circle in one direction and in the other direction. Level off your hips, straighten your leg, release your foot back down to the floor for downward facing dog. Look towards your hands. Walk your feet to the front of your mat. Come up to a halfway lift and forward fold. Plant your hands on the floor and step your right foot back for low lunge pose. Moving into extended pyramid pose, begin to straighten your left leg and then fold over your left leg. Come back into a low lunge position. Release your back knee down onto the floor, top of your foot flat to the floor and come up crescent moon. Lift your arms up overhead. Okay, we're gonna take those same side bends on this left leg. So bring your left hand down toward the floor or a block. Reach your right arm up and across. both arms through center and switch sides. Bring your right hand to a block or the floor. Reach your left arm up and across. Come back to center, both arms up overhead. Hold here for another breath. And release your hands back down onto your mat. Tuck your back toes under. Lift your knee, step back, downward facing dog. Bring your feet to mat distance apart with your toes pointed slightly out. Begin to walk your hands to the back of your mat as you squat down. This would be another great place for blocks, if you have tight hips, you can sit on your blocks. If your heels are up off of the floor and that feels uncomfortable to you, you can also prop something underneath your heels, a towel, a blanket, a bolster, or your own yoga mat, folding it up and over into a little ball. Bring your hands to your heart. Hold here as you press your elbows into your knees and lift through the crown of your head. It's called Malasana. Really intense and effective stretch for your hips and your low back. Try to continue to lift through the crown of your head so you don't find yourself rounding and slouching in this posture.
One more breath. To release from this posture, we're gonna take hands down onto the mat and then just slowly start to stand up with your feet in the same position and then gently rock side to side. Heel toe your feet back underneath your hips. Inhale, halfway lift, look toward the front of your mat, and then walk your hands forward till you're in a high plank position. And from high plank position, press your way back to downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your right leg up, you're going to sweep your right foot to the outside of your right hand, so you're in a wide legged low lunge. From this active wide-legged low lunge, begin to release your back knee down onto the floor. Take the top of your foot flat to the floor. You can stay upright on your hands or on blocks, or you can come down onto your forearms. If you are not already, come up onto your hands. Bring your toes out to a slight angle and bring your right hand to your right knee as you press your right knee open and look back. Now begin to bend your left leg, reach your right hand around. Take hold of your left foot, draw your heel in. Release your left foot down onto your mat and take your right foot and bring it across the front of your mat toward your left hand. Just heel toe, heel toe and then begin to release your right knee down onto your mat for half pigeon pose. Again, you can stay upright here on your hands or on blocks, or you can come down onto your forearms, or you can rest your head on a block or on your fists. If you're not already, come up onto your hands and now bend your left leg. Take hold of your foot this time from the inside and start to draw your heel in. Release your foot back down onto the floor. You're gonna bring your left knee toward your right heel. I'm just gonna open the hips, the front side of the body. Place your right hand out behind your right hip. Start to reach your left arm straight up as you lift your hips up off of the mat. And then maybe sweep your arm back behind you, looking back. And just feel the opening in your hip flexors. The old opening in your chest and release back down onto your mat and now bring your left shin up and over and stack it on top of your right shin for fire log pose. Try to get both shins parallel to the front of your mat. If your knees and feet don't stack perfectly, that's fine. You can always prop yourself up on a block if that's more comfortable in your hips. 
you're just gently going to press your left knee toward your right ankle as you open up your left hip. If your hips are open and you don't feel the stretch as deeply as you want, you can walk your hands forward. If you're not already, come back up to a seated position and you're gonna continue to bring your feet closer to your hips as you come into cow face pose. So in this posture, we're working towards stacking one knee on top of the other. Go ahead and sit upright here and we're going to slowly start to walk the hands forward. If you just come a little bit, that's fine. You can come all the way so that your torso rests on your thigh. We're gonna begin to walk the hands to the left. Walk the hands to the right. Walk the hands back to center and a little bit further forward than they were in the beginning. Just increasing and deepening the stretch. And now all the way back up from wherever you were. Take your left foot out in front of you. From this position, you can take your hands either around your foot or this would be a great place to use a strap, placing it underneath your foot. You're gonna lift your foot up off the floor and begin to straighten your leg. So if you're holding on to the bottom of your foot, just interlacing your fingers from here, working in the direction of a straight leg. we're gonna release from this posture into Half Lord of the Fishes. So you're gonna take your left foot up and over, plant it on the floor. Left hand comes out behind you, reach your arm up and cross it over your body, hooking to the outside of your knee. If you would like to try, you can take a bind, reaching your left hand towards your right hip or reaching your right arm underneath your thigh and clasping your hands. And release from your twist and take just a quick little counter twist. Look out over your right shoulder, come back to center and step back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your legs. Lift your left leg up and place it to the outside of your left hand for a wide legged low lunge. Release your right knee down onto your mat. You can stay upright with your hands on, on the floor or blocks or come down onto your forearms. If you're not already, Come up onto your hands. Take your left toes out to a slight angle. Place your left hand on your left knee and gently start to press your left hand into your left knee, maybe looking back toward the back of your mat. Bend your right leg reach that left hand around to take hold of your right foot and start to draw your right foot in. A 
Release your right foot down onto the floor. Come back to face the front of your mat and start to heel toe your left foot across your mat to the right side and then place your left shin down on your mat for half pigeon pose. Hold here, upright hands on the floor or a block or release down onto your forearms. Turn to your hands, bend your right leg and reach your right hand around for your right foot. Start to draw your right foot in. Gently release your right foot down toward the floor Bring your right knee up toward your left heel. And now re release the hip flexors. Take your left hand behind your left hip, reach your right arm straight up and press up. Open the front of your body as you reach back and look back. And release back down onto the floor. Bring your right shin up and over and stack it on top of your left shin for fire log pose. Try to bring both shins parallel to the front of your mat. Ankle stacking on top of left knee. Left knee working to stack on top of right ankle. Gently press your right knee down toward your left foot. Or if your hips are quite open and you want a deeper stretch, you can walk your hands forward. back upright so you're sitting with a tall spine we're gonna move to cow face legs so bringing your feet toward your hips as you stack your right knee on top of your left try to keep both sitting bones firmly planted on the floor so try not to rock off to one side and from here, even if it's just a tiny little bit, start walking your hands forward. Again, if your hips are open, you might just drape your torso over your thighs. And now just walk your hands off to the left. Just a little kind of side stretch here. Walk your hands through center, off to the right. Walk your hands back to center and maybe just a tiny lit, little bit further forward. And release, coming all the way back upright. Bring your right foot out in front of you either with your hands wrapped around your foot or a strap wrapped around your foot. Begin to lift your right heel up off the floor and straighten your leg. Continue to lift your chest and look up past your toes, stretching the back of your right leg. We're going to release into Half Lord of the Fishes. So cross your right foot up and over your left leg, plant it on the floor, and you're gonna twist in the direction of your right knee so you can lift your left arm up and then hook your elbow to the outside of your left knee. If you'd like to, you can experiment with a bind, either half bind right hand toward left hip, or you can reach your left arm underneath your right thigh 
and maybe clasp your hands as you look out over your right shoulder. Release from your twist. We're gonna take frog pose now, which is a deep opener for the inner thighs and hips. So you can take your mat, you're gonna face sideways on your mat, take one edge, fold it in, take your other edge and fold it in. I'm not gonna tell you how far to fold it because it's gonna depend on where you end up placing your knees, how wide they go. All right, so now you're gonna place your knees onto the folded sections of your mat. This is just for cushioning, so you just wanna make it comfortable for yourself. Bring your knees as wide as is a good stretch, but no pain. Bring your um, ankles in line with your knees. So it's not like child's pose where your toes come to touch, okay? so. You're gonna flex your feet so your toes point out and your toes are in line with your heels. So lots of, of points of alignment in this posture. Okay, and you can, again, stay upright on your hands or you can come down onto your forearms. I personally like to just rock a little bit in this pose, a little bit back and forth. And then as you hold the pose, you can even take your knees a little bit wider. But if you do that, adjust your ankles and your feet as you do. So you keep this alignment. Breathe deeply as this is an intense pose. You can close your eyes if you want. Make your way back up onto your hands. Now you're gonna bring your feet toward one another and then slowly just walk your knees in until you're sitting on your shins, hips to your heels. Open up your mat again and then just gently rock side to side. It's a big pose. And we held it for a decent number of breaths. So just kind of notice what's happening in your body now. Come back to face the front of your mat. Bring the soles of your feet to touch. For butterfly pose, bring your hands to your ankles. Press your elbows to your knees. Hinge forward. Just one more breath here. release and if you have blocks or books bring them with you as you come down onto your back 
We're gonna take a supported bridge pose. The other option, of course, is bridge pose without the support, but supported bridge pose is a really nice release for your low back and hips. So lay down onto your back. You're gonna place your blocks, if you have them, I'm using two because mine are very narrow, um, underneath your sacrum, okay? So not underneath your low back, like the curve of your low back, but underneath the bony part of the base of your spine, your sacrum. And then rest your weight onto your blocks. Rest your arms alongside your body, or you can interlace your hands underneath you. And just feel and notice the opening in the front of your body, your hip flexors once again. So not as much work happening here in your legs. So just let your body, your legs, your hips release. If you have the supportive blocks underneath you, go ahead and remove them. Lay back down onto your back. Let your knees touch. And now with your feet at a mat distance apart, just rock your legs side to side. Hug your knees to your chest, but a really, really gentle hug. So you're just placing your hands on your knees. Take some circles of your knees in one direction. Massage for your low back. And the other direction. And make your way to Shavasana. Extend your legs out in front of you. Let your feet fall open. Rest your arms alongside your body. Breathe in through your nose. Big open mouth, exhale, let it go. Return to the natural rhythm of your breath. So much for joining me for class today. Today as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart from my heart to yours. Namaste.